Hey, I'm Levi Allen. I'm an adventure filmmaker. This is Florence the Adventure Van. The idea of living and traveling in a vehicle and kind of having this like adventure platform that you could take places definitely came from when I was a kid. My dad had a VW Westphalia van and we'd take that on surf trips. And my first kind of adventure vehicles was the classic small pickup truck and the car. But the ideal in my head was always moving towards like a larger van expedition platform. For me, the value of a vehicle has always been where can you go and what can you do with it? It's kind of searching for about a year, stumbled on some small used car dealership. I had just enough cash to buy the van. The first like six months that I lived in the van, it was just like bare cargo van with like some plywood and a sketchy foam mattress. I realized this dream I had of like outfitting it to perfection was not actually conducive for what I was trying to do at that time was just make a film. So I like had to simplify my vision, make it sort of accommodating, but a majority of the time is gonna be spent outside of it anyways, and it's gonna be the home base. So let's just be okay with how it is right now and be grateful for a roof over my head and move on from there. Okay, so my van is a 2004 Mercedes Sprinter. It's the longest wheelbase and highest height model. One of my actual favorite upgrades of the van that I've done so far, one of the most expensive ones, was actually to the outside, and that's these knobbier BFG KO2 tires I put on. They're kind of a little bit overkill for a van, but it helps make up for how much this van doesn't do well <laughs> off-roading. But I like taking it up like mountain roads and stuff like that. So in stage one of the van, I was living in the van in Vancouver and I needed it to be as stealth as possible. But now the van's kind of moving into stage two of its life where I'm using it kind of on adventure productions and I'm not living in cities as much. So I'm kind of getting ready to morph it more into where it's more obvious that it's an adventure rig. So I'm thinking about putting some windows in it, thinking about giving it a paint job, a roof rack, and all those kind of things. But that's kind of further down the road. Right now it's still kind of in a bit of a stealth mode where it's hard to tell someone lives in it. What I like about this is right when I open the door, I try to have all the bags that I want to access for filming within arm's reach of kind of the door here. Cause I found I was getting in and out a lot when I had the gear further back into the van. So I try to keep the most necessary filmmaking stuff kind of as close and within arm reach. So in each one of like my bags, I try to make sure that, oh, people are going to hate that I don't have lens caps on, but oh well. Yeah, I try to just kind of keep everything in the same places and that just really helps keep things organized. But then also here, this is where I, it's actually a, it's a, I mean, it's a cooler, but I, I keep my food in it. So this is also where I'll kind of take this out and cook off it. This is a table that folds in the middle and changes height. Often what I'll do is leave this here in the van kind of up against the wall here so I can prep my camera gear inside. Underneath and back against the wall, I've got my inverter, which is just a 750 watt inverter. Back here, I've just got two golf cart batteries that are isolated from the main battery. One day I'll get solar, but that day, is not today. In here, I just have like basic slacklining gear and things like that. I've got ropes around and in the van, which comes surprisingly helpful, especially if you ever get the van stuck. The walls kind of look sort of finished, and I essentially just took slats off pallets and just like fastened them to the wall. This is super bare bones, purely just for the aesthetics of making it look slightly finished. And I'm a big fan of the cabin vibe. My dreams to have like the the cedar tongue and groove that's become a little bit trendy with van stuff. I just love the way it looks and I think it looks like a cabin. If we look on the roof or anything like that, like it's, I just really threw it together in about a week and I'm surprised it's kind of lasted this long. Over here, just like a really basic <laughs> light LED strip that I threw up in there. Kind of up here on the bed area, we've just got like a six inch foam mattress that is about a queen size. Like this is where I have my clothes just in a duffel back here. That's where I keep my clothes. This is one of my camera bags that I take out. It's really nice to have a place for everything to go. And this is kind of like the generic catch all because sometimes you just need a place to put things. Cause when you start driving, stuff just goes everywhere in the van. It's like super basic in the sense that there's no shelving. There's no anything like that. Definitely the dream one day is to kind of have those shelves at this height all around and uh, add a bit more like kind of permanent storage areas. But for now it's been serving me really well to just like have everything in like cases like this. So stuff like my monopod and tripods and things like that that I'm using all the time, these don't necessarily like have a place. So they kind of get just left around. Uh, so there's like, 
stuff like my my motion control time lapse slider, like it's fantastic, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to pull down and store somewhere. So I often will just put it on the ground here. And things like my hiking poles. And then up here, we've got upgraded captain chairs of some kind that I pulled out of just an SUV in the wrecker lot. Someone made this for me and gave it to me. I always say life's better when you make stuff. Also got my sailboat. I really like sailing. And this is kind of like my land yacht. So I, I like picturing that, that we're going on some sailing adventures. So the back is the part that I'm most, most embarrassed about. It's my messy garage. But I, I put in this door off one of the sprinter vans in an auto wrecker. I got one with a window because my other door was bent and janky. Inside here, this is kind of just where the catch all of everything goes. The bed structure itself is just a basic two by four frame braced off the side ledges of the van and then kind of like anchored into the walls. My favorite sport to do myself is actually mountain biking. Being able to carry bikes inside the van is pretty important to me. I left a bit of a space in between where the bed ends and where the end of the van is because I thought I might want to prop bikes up in here. I'm realizing I don't do that as much as I thought I would, so I might actually move the bed back in the next version of the build. The dream would be to have like a big drawer that could pull out uh, on this side and then have like a water tank and kind of other things on that side, but just haven't gotten there yet. We don't always realize, but we're like constantly telling ourselves stories about our own life, about what we can and cannot do, where we came from, and the opportunities that are ahead of us. Try to find out what those are so that way you can actually challenge them. Because once you like see a different way of going about it, it's weird to say it, but it like makes the hardships fun. Like suffering is completely optional. Hardships, barriers in life, conflict, all that stuff is all a guarantee. Every, every little piece of that, like you don't have control over those things, but suffering through them and like just drudging through them, that's totally a choice. I don't feel the right to tell someone else that they have to change their perspective, but I truly just feel that suffering is optional. Hardships are a guarantee. You can just find so much joy in overcoming them and that's like so much fun. There's something like really liberating about knowing what the worst case scenario is and like visualizing that in your mind, keeping that aware as you're trying to like make these decisions in your life. And for me, some of those nights spent in the van, sleeping on the cold metal floor of the van. And I just remember some of those nights of just feeling like, if this is the worst, like this isn't so bad. That just like changed my perspective entirely where I just felt so grateful to have a, a tube of metal to sleep in. And that just like has shifted the entire perspective of how I'm making decisions for the future. Like I just know if everything goes to crap, I can just sleep in a van out on a forest service road. I can hit reset.